Ah yeah, so not only is Tony Dodge um, sick in the head talking about gang raping, um, joking, well he said, I don't know whether he was joking, but he said he was a paedophile, then he corrected it and said he was actually a necrophile. Um, so that's sexually attracted to kids and their bodies. Um, and then not only is he a sick fuck, on another channel you've got the glare and psycho babble talking to this woman, trying to convince her that gangbanging is fine. Um, and she even produces the definition of gangbanging, the gang rape of someone and they're still trying to and it's interesting that for all the people to come to Tony Dodge's defence it would have to be Psycho Babble and the Glitter wouldn't it because these people don't know each other at all apparently um they're all sick fucks in the head if you ask me so my last video talked about Tony Dodge um, and the gang banging DM and how he was on with three other people on his live. That was uh, Dusty, Sea Fowls and Jamie Bailey. Now something's happened where I thought it might because in that live Ryan Upchurch came in and Sea Fowls you could sort of see the penny dropping in his head like Hang on, what's what's going on here? And he even said to Ryan of Church, um, I I obviously haven't got all the information. Meaning, you know, it was all fun and games, but like now I'm like, what what's going on? I don't know nothing. So in the time of the live and yesterday, something's happened where Tony Dodge has said to Sea Fowls, go and kill yourself, apparently. And um, called Sea Fowls a drunk and an alcoholic, which I think is disgusting. First of all, to tell anyone to go and kill themselves is scummy. You just don't do that ever. You don't know what people are going through. You know, that might be the thing to push someone over the edge. And second, how come anyone who comes up against Tony, like Ryan Upchurch, Ryan Upchurch is apparently mentally ill and on drugs, see files questions and now all of a sudden he's an alcoholic and he can go and kill himself. Um, Dusty was on with Tony defending see files saying, you know, what's going on and um, obviously Tony's denying it. Uh, deny, 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 and you won't let anyone get a, a word in edgeways. Then this other man comes on, um, Fetters, his name is, and luckily he can shout louder than Tony, and he starts flipping on him. But then Tony turns around and says, You're nothing but a fucking lying convict, and accuses him of being a murderer, and then kicks him out of the live. He ends up coming back a few minutes later saying, how dare you slander me? I'm not a murderer. Um, and then Tony's like, you're the convict, you're the liar. Um, and then Dusty says, hang on Tony, you can't be saying that. He turns his life round. Well, you don't know if he turns his life round. And then Dusty's like, well, he's got a good job. He's got a family. He's doing good. Can't turn around to call him a convict and a liar. Um, he's just a scummy bastard. Then he, um, then Fetters says, um, I'm not a murderer. Um, I was in prison for burglary and grand theft also. Um, and he stabbed a child molester. Now, most people, if you say I stabbed a child molester, they'll buy you the pint or, you know, they'll be so happy. But not Tony. 
Tony starts defending this poor innocent child molester against the evil fetters. Um, this man, he is absolutely disgusting. He really, really is. Um, yeah, he's just, he's an absolute creepy scumbag. Um, but it seems anyone that goes against him will be slandered. Um, and he will take, tell lies about. But to tell someone to go and kill themselves, or to call someone a, dr a drunk, or to call someone a convict, it's like, what is his problem? Is he that egotistical that how dare anyone question him? Um, I hope the police end up questioning him. Because I think he needs investigating. I don't know anyone who jokes about being a paedophile or a necrophile. And if it weren't a joke, you know, I'd look into him. But it's ironic that Psycho Babble and the Glera, they all seem to be friends. I don't care what anyone says. Um, and the lengths they go to lying for each other and defending each other is just insane. Um, my next video is going to be about SF Investigates. Um, he did a, a two hour interview with the Glera. I started it yesterday morning at 6am two hours it's now half 12 in the afternoon the following day and i'm 40 minutes in because it is just oh the lies the endless lies that he's telling about everyone and everything is unbelievable um he's lying about awp he's lying about everything and then when he's not lying, it's just weird salad and not in making sense. And then you've got the glare of there just eating it up. Um, so yeah, I'm working on that at the moment. Like I said, I'm only 40 minutes in because it's just, it's killing me. Um, oh, I get like five minutes in and I have to stop because it, yeah, I just want to punch him slam his head down against the desk or something oh he's driving me insane both of them are and that's the video where Ickid Mel had done a super chat to the Glera for $50 so very interesting anyway um going to see me auntie she's um well my great auntie she's in her home, a nursing home, I'm going to go and visit her, um, say hello to her, and I hope you're all having a nice day, and I'll see you in my next one tomorrow.